on the women. So we're just waiting for Hall to finish. I think she's going to be coming up soon. Based on where she was at 40K. Mm -hmm. So 40K, she was a minute and a half back of the two Japanese athletes. Looking at the chat. Uh, someone asked, is Elliot doing New York City and Boston this year? Well, not. I don't think he's doing Boston. It's coming in a couple months. New York, maybe. And we also don't know. I don't think he'd do the World Championships. He hasn't done the World Championships marathon before. But that could be something. You know, he said he wanted to target it, but we don't know what the timetable is. If he goes through 2024, then that gives us uh, a fair bit of time. Sarah Hall crosses in eighth place, 222.56. For Sarah Hall, she went for it, Gordon. She went for the record, came up a little bit short. She's going to have other opportunities, and I still think that American record in the marathon is not going to last a couple years. I still think somebody's going to get it at a certain point. It wasn't Hall's day to day for the record? Still a pretty solid performance. She's going to bounce back because that's what Sarah Hall does. And she runs a lot of races, so she gives herself opportunities to bounce back. But um, what, what did you think of her race? Uh, she went for it. I mean, that's the thing about a marathon is there's a lot of unknown, like, I don't want to call it luck because you got to set yourself up for the luck, right? And that luck being just everything in your body is just perfect that day. Nothing is yeah. going wrong. You just feel so smooth the entire day, the entire week building up, and the entire two hours on the course. And I think eventually she's going to find that. She's, she found that magic in the half marathon in Houston, right, when she broke that record. So she's going to be set up to hopefully find that magic in her next marathon, whether it's in Boston or down the road in next fall. 